Hi everyone, this is Iris. What if I told you that I have a ridiculously easy hairdo that was inspired by Christina Aguilera from the movie Burlesque? I posted a the inspirational picture in the information box and this hairdo will actually really stand up to wind and the secret to this entire hair look is actually the ionic technology from the flat iron that I used. It really smooths out the hair and the cuticle and it just helps prevent the frizz as my hair goes through the wind. And so I'm just going to show you guys what uh, what my hair was like when I was outside and it was nice cold and windy and once I came inside the house and um, kinda like took my hoodie off and checked my hair I couldn't believe how perfect it was really I mean after all it went through and here's a demo of that and so what I used is the Bubbleless um, Nano Flat Iron there is a twenty dollar off coupon code if you buy both the flat iron and this little travel dryer. Of course what I did is I straightened all of my hair but in this case with this particular hairstyle I didn't make my hair perfectly straight. I just kind of went over all of these little sections with um, with the flat iron making sure to smooth my hair rather than straighten it or make it completely flat and you will see this throughout the video. I'm just kind of going over it really slowly and not necessarily making it very very straight. Then I'm starting to take larger sections because the um, the plates are made of titanium and they're actually very very smooth and so my hair just kind of started gliding uh, in between the plates very smoothly and so I just thought you know what I'm just gonna take larger sections because this isn't a very neat look and all I'm doing really is just taking out the natural waves that I have in my hair and yes like I said I am using larger sections if you prefer you can do smaller sections for more precisely straightened hair but for this look all I wanted to do again is just just smooth it out it is a ridiculously easy style to put together and I really like the way that it looks and feels when you're all bundled up with like a scarf and big jacket or even a hat or a hoodie and right in the back I just kind of smoothing it out making sure that it's gonna look really pretty once I put it in a ponytail and this will um, be no matter what side I choose to put my ponytail in so I have just a few more little waves to get to before I can go ahead and start to put my ponytail together. Now you're just going to choose which side you want your ponytail to be. Um, it's completely up to you. You want to just kind of check either side before you tie it down. And then right when you, um, before you decide to tie it down and you're going to take a couple of sections from the front this is especially great if you have like layered hair or you have shorter bangs in the front and then you're going to go ahead and loosely tie your side ponytail and then go ahead and bring down those bangs and you're just going to kind of do a flippy do on each side I had to go over it one more time because I kind of messed up right there in the first swipe and do the same thing on the other side got to kind of angle your arm a different direction to get it right and then right at the ponytail you can start adding like little waves and curls now the reason why I chose to do this after is because I want the waves and curls to kind of fall on top of my ponytail um, because when if you do it before and then you gather your hair into a ponytail it kind of messes up the order that you had the curls in so this will definitely make them fall much neater on top of your ponytail and it looks like it was kind of on purpose so right here I'm just kind of pulling my bangs in different places you can decide whether you want to pin it with a bobby pin or just let them fall naturally I'm putting on my big bulky jacket and my big scarf just so that you guys can see what it looks like when I'm all bundled up with this cute ponytail and then I decided you know what I'm gonna add a few more little waves to my hair not really a lot I just added one big one right there and then just a real quick little um, run through with the with the flat iron and you can add as many as you'd like but you see that's what it looks like and then um, I wanted to just kind of bulk it up a little bit more so that you guys 
can kind of get an idea of how cute this ponytail looks. Even when you're all bundled up, you can still kind of let your hair down. You don't necessarily have to wear it in a bun. And then here are just some more pictures. I think it really falls very beautifully with a scarf and a big jacket. So I hope that you guys have been inspired and thank you guys so much for watching.